Hello there, and welcome to Drag Dropper, the universal drag and drop page builder. Watch this video to learn how easy it is to create a web page for your website. Once you have signed up, you will see your dashboard. Here, you can start creating in projects or in content block section. Every project represents a different website you're working on. It acts like a folder where you store pages for a specific website, web shop, or blog. Here you can delete a project and you can change the general settings for a project. But we will cover those options in another video. All right, let's head over to the creation process. The first step is to create a project. To create a project, click on a plus sign, name your project, and click Save. To start creating, we need to create a page. Click on the Create Project, click Plus, and select HTML page. The Drag Dropper Editor is going to open. First, we will set our page, name our page, set the maximal width, and you could add different stylings. In your editor on your left side, you will see widgets and content blocks. Let us start by dragging and dropping a content block to your canvas area. Now on our canvas, we have a content block. Content block is nothing more than a collection of widgets, previously designed to make your page building even faster. Now you can write your text, change the image, remove, or add a new widget to a content block. On your right side, we have settings. You can select specific widget within a content block and change the settings available for that widget. Or select an entire content block and change the settings which will affect all the widgets within a selected content block. Let us change the whole font color. Set the margins. Add a background color. If you don't find enough options within the widget settings, you can simply add additional CSS to your section as shown, widget, or an entire page. Pretty simple, right? Now let us create our own content block. First, we will clear our canvas. To do that, just click Delete and drag a section to our canvas. Now we can fill that section with desired widgets. Let us drag a headline and some rich text and an image on the side. You can change the sizes and rearrange your widgets within a section as you like. Adding an image to your widget is pretty simple. Just select it, click the folder icon, click upload and drag the image you want. Now let's do some customization here. Round the image and add some spacing. And I will change my headline. Just click on the headline widget and write the text. Now practically we have our own content block to use and reuse. Click on the settings to save your content block. Name it and add an image to represent it. It will appear in your content block section right away after that. As promised, Drag Dropper delivers full responsivity and gives you the option to control that responsivity on different screen sizes. Just select the screen size you want to check. If one of the elements within your content block does not look good on a specific screen size, you can easily set the behavior of that element for that screen. To do that, click on a widget you want to customize for that screen size. Click on the responsivity tab. Perhaps wrap it in 768 screen size and hide it completely in 320 screen size. Now let us check that in a preview. Click Save, click the preview button and see how your page will look. Working flawlessly. We are ready to publish now. To do that, we have a couple of different options. If you already have one of our integrations, Shopify, Magento, WordPress, Lightspeed or other, by clicking publish, the page will automatically be published to a location set by our integration. In this video, however, we don't have an integration. So our options are to publish our, click on a code button, copy the entire HTML code, go to your CSS 
and paste it into HTML section of content area. Or you can click publish and choose one of the best options for you. Set it to be published to a specific location, publish it directly to social media, preview the page in your browser, simply just follow any of the options over here. So once you have clicked save, all of your work is safe. Let us get back to our dashboard. Click pages, back to projects, or content blocks. In content block section, you can make a collection of your own content block. Process is the same as in project section. This section is created so you can access them easily, copy them, or enter content block settings where you can easily add images to specific content block, tag them, or even add specific tags to find them more easily. In your dashboard, you will also find journal settings. Just click on your image, click users to add collaborators, but you need to be an admin, which I'm not. Check your subscription, send us feedback or a question. Okay, I think that will be it for this tutorial. I hope you will find it useful. Please check our tutorial base for more videos. You have a great day. Thanks.